now Take a step outside and seize the day I'm Michelle Miller. I'm the Ops Manager at Lawn Buddy, and today I want to take you through our newest feature, which is our bids feature. We heard a lot of you guys tell us that this is something that you really wanted, the ability to send out a price for a job without actually invoicing the job, and we officially have it up and running on the website. So now when you go into your account, you're going to see bids here as a new tab on the left. When you click on that, you have um, some quick references to open bids, accepted bids, pending bids, and declined bids at the top. And you can see all the bids that you have sent out in the past. You also have the ability to create a new bid. So we're going to click Add, and we're going to do a, uh, a fake bid just to show you guys how this works. So let's start by making a title. And we're going to actually add the recipient and we have two options here we can create a new recipient which ultimately will create a new customer but we're not going to do that for right now instead we're going to use a fake account that we already have in our system and as you can see once we type in the customer and the address google maps automatically pulls it up so we can see kind of what we're working with here in terms of lawn size and we can map it out and just roughly get a gauge for how much space we would be working with alright so that looks like it's about 9.4 K square feet um, so then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add an item. Um, we're just going to say $50. Then the this will auto-populate and you can add as many things as you need in order to make the bid reflect whatever um, the job will be. Uh, we then select a start date. Let's just go ahead and say Tuesday. Internal notes, this is something that you can write just for yourself, like um, customer has a dog. Um, and then this could be to the customer. Thank you for requesting our service. Oops. Um, okay, so then we actually have to send the person the bid and we have a couple options up here. Um, we can allow them to prepay for the job. That means that they, when you submit a customer a bid, they get either a email or a text message, depending on what you choose. And you can include also the customer notes and also this image right here that has the, um, the project estimation. And the customer receives a one of those things and they have the ability to then accept or decline the job. And if they accept it, they can actually prepay for the job without any work having been done yet. Um, so that's what this checkbox does. Um, and then once we save and close, we can actually go to Miguel's profile and we can see here under his bids that there's a new bid for $50. This is the one that we just created and I have a couple of abilities I can go through here and edit it. I can also recategorize it. So maybe Miguel doesn't respond to my email and I give him a call a couple days later and he says, yeah, I'm good to go. Then I can come in here and mark accept. And then that moves the bids over into the accepted category. And if he does accept or decline it on his end, then it would go into um, automatically into these other categories. Uh, it works pretty similar to our jobs. The user interface is uh, very similar. So Hopefully this is really helpful to you guys and if you have any questions at all or need any help or having somebody else walk you through it, just let us know. Send us an email at hello at lawnbuddy.com. Thank you.